Now we're going to go ahead and go in here and unbutton a few of these clips. That should give us plenty of room to get our tool back behind there and begin our push work. All right, everybody, I just want you to get an idea of now what this dent looks like prior to going in here and doing a little bit of push work. As you can see, we've greatly minimized the impact area and now it's ready to push on. I even got a little one down here that we've just picked up and just noticed. Again, now we've got it unbuttoned under here so I can slide a tool in here. I'm gonna be using this 24 inch long double bend. As you can see, it's got a nice curve on it there so it'll get around that fender edge and it's got a decently sharp tip which is going to help me pinpoint any of them little low spots. Alright guys, this is my setup to start this dent. I've got a light coming in at this direction. I'm going to finish up by ironing out this little crease that's left in the middle. And then I can continuously cross check by bringing my head a little bit lower and looking into this light. making little methodical pushes, shrinking the damage area. Now after pushing that up, I'm ready to cross check. As usual, we're going to throw some knockdown work into the mixture, bringing the dent up with balance. And at this point, guys, it's basically just rinse and repeat. So right now I'm in an exchange where I'm pushing up some little lows and then tapping down some highs trying to bring the dent up and balance. A push here, tap here. Or you got a little high here, tap here, push here. Bringing the entire structure of the dent up nice and level. As usual, cross-checking is paramount. I'm gonna be checking this from 360 degrees. I'm gonna flip my light down at several different angles, and I'm even gonna take a look at it through the natural reflections to make sure everything is dialed in just the way it needs to be prior to delivery. Have it. We have the finished product. Now we just got to go ahead and button this thing up and get it ready for delivery. All right, everybody, I want to talk about a few things that we learned here from this repair. Now, this was what we would want to call a glue pull and a pushing combination. The reason why we did it that way is so I can move a lot of the metal along and avoid little push marks throughout the process. Basically, what we've learned here is that you can look at certain dents and you can say to yourself, no, it's not exactly how I'm going to repair that dent, but how can I take that dent and change it into a manageable shape? And that's exactly what we did. We used the Atlas Titans football size. They, they match the, uh, the circumference of the dent and pulled it from the deepest part to the most shallow part. We were able to tap out the crowns, release that pressure first, and bring that metal up. And then went in behind the fender liner to put our finishing touches on it. Now what typically what this will do, it will minimize your repair time. Because you're taking what would have been a big dent, you'd have to get in there and push around and mold around, and just turning it into something that is much more manageable. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial here, and we will see you on the next one. All right, everybody, I just wanted to go ahead and give you a natural shot of this dent as well. Just kind of show you how you would expect a repair like this to turn out. Don't pay attention to my voice in the background there. That's actually another video player that I have going right up here in our window.
There you have it.